families represented. Just take a minute and look around the room and look at how beautiful our community is. I just love this event because it brings so many different people together. Um, so again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for spending part of your evening with us. Um, I'm really, really excited about the person that I get to introduce next. Um, we have a wonderful new principal here who's been doing phenomenally. Who are like five, six weeks in the school year. We have high energy, um, and I am so excited to introduce you all to Mr. Keith Smith. He is the Rainier Beach principal. So if y'all could just give it up for a minute, we're gonna welcome Mr. Keith Smith. First of all, I just want to thank all the parents and the families for making it out this evening. Uh, can we have parents and families to stand up? Can we have parents and families stand up? Students, can we give them a hand? Thank you so much for making it out. It's like Ms. Wright said, I mean, everyone's had a long day. Some of us get started at 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, and we just really appreciate you making the time to come out and uh, be a part of this gathering. And I also wanted to thank all of the people that helped organize this. I know, can the Wablock team, can some of our staff members, Ms. Thompson, Ms. Shaw, Ms. Ms. Pearson, where's Ms. Pearson, where are you, right here? Let's, let's, let's give thanks to all of the people that helped arrange this. They put so much, look around, this looks beautiful. This looks so beautiful here. All of our community partners around the back, let's really give it up for them too. Well, Rainier Beach wouldn't be Rainier Beach without our community partners. All of the staff members that are here, thank you, I appreciate you all. Me being a new principal here, I want to communicate to you how important your involvement is for your student success. We need to, I want everybody's attention real quick. This is important, this is very important. For the parents, for the young people, for the teachers, everybody has to understand that we're a partnership. We're all in this together with our community partners and no one has ever done it alone. So we want to work shoulder to shoulder with you, family members, because we have the same goals. Our young people graduating, moving on to college or career. And to do that, we need to work shoulder to shoulder. We need to work together. I had the wonderful opportunity to go into some freshman classes today, and I usually go in and observe and, and, and make sure that high quality instruction is going on. But today, I uh, had a wonderful opportunity to participate in a restorative circle in Mr. C's class right over here. And then I had another opportunity later on in the day to go to a classroom and actually participate in the teaching and learning. And my goal to young people is letting them know they need to make a positive transition from middle school to high school. And this is when they start earning credits. It's not middle school anymore where you get socially promoted. You start earning credits towards graduation in high school. So that transition can be difficult for some. And we want to make sure parents are really communicating with their kids. You have to take this seriously. Every class is important. If you fail a class in high school, you better believe you got to take it over before you graduate. Some of them don't understand that because in middle school, if they didn't have success in a class, they could just move on to the next one and it didn't have any negative you know, effect. In high school, every class counts. And I tell them, this is your job. And you gotta know your grades and you gotta understand that you're earning credit. So please have that conversation because this transition year called our ninth grade, that determines a lot. It, de it determines graduation on, graduating on time. It determines a lot about going to college. This is an important year, and it's the foundation for the rest of your life. So this is essential that we get it in, we make it a high priority, and we work as partners together. How many of you parents want your kids to graduate in four years and go on to college or career? How many? How many staff want our kids to do that? Everybody's hand in. How many students that are in the room want to go on to career college? 100%. We're all on the same team. Let's do what we need to do to get it done. Now, um, I'm going to turn it over because I know Ms. Wright is saying, I gave you two or three minutes and man, you just keep talking. So I'm going to turn it back over to Ms. Wright and the crew. But thank you all for being here. I really appreciate you. Can we give it up for Mr. Smith again? Awesome. Cool.
So, very quickly, I want to uh, draw your attention to this lovely word right here, karambe. Does anybody know what this means? <laughs> Gathering, that's close. I like that. Anybody else? Do I have some freedom school scholars? What does a harambe mean? Unity, I like that. Anybody else? Cool. So Harambe is Kiswahili for let's pull together. So gathering, right? So tonight is all about all of us pulling together. Because it really takes a village, right, for all of our young people to be successful. It's not just our teachers. It's not just you as parents. It's not just us as staff. So we recognize the important and crucial role we all play in that, right? So I like this word, Harambe. Can you guys say Harambe? Harambe. Can we say it like we mean it? Harambe? Harambe. 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 Awesome. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce my brother. Do you guys know it's a wear the same t-shirt? Uh, today was Twin Day here at Rainier Beach High School. And we like to have spirit. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give it up to my brother Jarrell here. He's going to lead us in the brief activity. How are you guys doing? I say God hope. God hope. God freedom. God love. God hope. That's dope. That's dope. God freedom. God love. God hope. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So I come from Block, Washington, building leaders of change. We have hosted Freedom Schools the last two summers here. Where are my Freedom Scholars at? Oh, I said my Freedom Scholars at. There's a few of them in here, okay? We are in the school right now. We're in classrooms, working with students, working with teachers. Um, making sure that things are culturally infused. We're bringing in some restorative practices to the school. We work one-on-one -on -one with students on homework, tutoring in the classroom. Uh, we do a number of things here. Um, and so one more time, we're gonna do God Hope because we want this to be the theme of tonight. All right, can you turn me down a little bit? There we go. So when I say God Hope, you say God Hope, okay? I'm gonna need my Freedom Scholars to turn up with me one time. Tonight the theme is hope because we're starting with the end in mind. Last week we had an assembly where we said sweat, starting with effort and tension, okay? Recognizing that it takes effort, it takes work to get where we're going, and tension, knowing that it's gonna be hard, knowing that it's not always gonna be easy, okay? And so we want tonight to be the, the theme to be hope, all right? So when I say God hope, God hope, God freedom, God love, God hope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. God freedom, God love, God hope. So, Mr. Smith asked you guys what you guys' aspirations are for your child, okay? We're gonna take a little bit of time to do a brief activity. At your table, there are post-it notes and there are pens. If there's not, raise your hand, we'll bring you some. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna take five minutes for us to write down one hope that each parent has for their child. One hope that you have for your student this school year, okay? There's a number of people in the community number of people in the school that are here right now letting you know and showing that we got you back. So whatever hope you write down on this paper, you're not going to be the only one that's getting your child towards that. Okay? So we're going to take about five minutes, write down your hope, one good hope for your child. We'll come back in a little bit. Is there anyone that wants to share their hope? We want to show a sense of unity, a sense of solidarity. So this is my son, Nache, and I want him to have a quality education. Others, others. My 
Can we get two more? Those masks? She said, we heard quality education. Who agrees with that? Who wants their child to get a quality education? We heard stay focused. Who wants their child to stay focused? Can we get a couple more? We had a freshman, Amani, who just said she wants to excel in all her classes. Y'all that's talking on the side can't hear her saying that though. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Happy and successful. Who wants their child to be happy and successful at school? The point of this, y'all, is for us to see that we all want the same things for our students. A lot of times we don't think it's on the same plane. A lot of times we don't think it's linear. But we all want the same thing for our students. So we are saying that Wild Block, we got your back. The teachers here, we got your back. The administration, the community, organizations that are here represented, we got your back. Help us to make this a team effort to get your student to the aspirations that y'all mentioned tonight. I'm gonna give it up. Make some noise for Miss Shaw. Y'all make some noise. over the people who are talking right now. But I am Miss Shaw, I'm the academic dean for the ninth grade, and I'm a part of the whole team of people, a whole team of academic interventionists here who are here to be your safety net. So we will not let you fall. That is our goal this year, as our primary goal, we will not let you fail. But we gotta get your part in, we'll do our part, we will catch you, our job, we're your safety net. Okay, um, I am going to toss it to Virginia Bethea. She's going to introduce herself and we'll keep it moving. Thank you. Hi, Rainier Beach parents. Uh, my name is Virginia Bethea. I am the uh, New Rainier Beach High School BTSA president. Parents, I need you guys. We need you guys. We need you guys to help with this movement and make Rainier Beach High School the best school in the state. Okay? So please sign up at the BTSA table over there. We got Bonnie. He's, she's our vice president. Bonnie Duncan. Okay, raise your hands. Um, so we really need you guys to get involved. We need a new building here. Parents have the power to speak out and be a voice for our community. Okay? So I, I look forward to working with you guys this um, school year. I also work with our senior pods program. So when your kids come to me, we make sure that they graduate on time. Our graduation percentages have increased tremendously, and that's because we work together as a team. Teachers, staff, administrator, community, parents, okay? So have a beautiful evening, I should say, and um, take care. Thanks. Good afternoon, parents. My name is Damaris Pearson, family engagement coordinator in the building. And today I'm gonna talk to you about success in high school directly relates to attendance. Ninth grade is a predictor for graduation. Did you all know that? So I have some stats I want to show you. So looking at this data up here, passing all, yes. um, percentage graduating on time, ninth grade attendance rate. So if you, if you look at the percentage, 95% Attendance means missing no more than one day per month. So look at the, look at the percentages as it goes down. So the, the, the more your students do not come to class and we want them to come to class, they're less likely to graduate. And we need your help in that. Passing all ninth grade classes is the key to your children's success. Percentage graduation on time by number of ninth grade course classes. So the 95.7% and as it goes down. If you miss, if you fail zero, if you, if you fail one class, the percentage of you graduating on time is 66. If you fail four classes, it's 15.3. Okay, next slide. So this is where we need your help. Um, 
Higher grade point average GPA promotes college enrollment. So as you're looking at the diagram, the what's in yellow is four years of graduation. So as our GPA starts off at a 1.0, it goes to a three. Our students are required a 2.0 in order to graduate from uh, the school district. But some of our babies here come here and, um, in a nice word, lose their mind because they're not focused on the ninth grade because they're focused on other things. I need all you parents in here to help, uh, help our school, help yourself, and we can help you too, to make sure your, your student gets here on time. It's very important. Not just important getting here on time when school starts because we started an hour late. You've got to pass the classes. If you don't pass the classes, we have additional support. We have Homework Club, and we have the MESA program that we're going to be working with pretty soon. That's to support your kids. If you're having trouble with math, we can get help for you. If you're having trouble with history, we can get help for you. But you have to talk to your students about reaching out for support. You can't just struggle and not say anything to us, OK? Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you. All right, thank you. My name is Dan Golisman. I'm the principal for the Skills Center. And uh, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the Skills Center, but we also have a table back there. And maybe uh, Miguel and Vanessa can stand up and wave there. Yeah, thank you. All right, we've got some students from our Skills Center courses, man on the table. So you can get some more information after I talk. And we do have some translated material. If, if we don't have it here, I do have that available in at least the top six languages in the, uh, in the district. So I'm the principal of the Skills Center. What is the Skills Center? The Skills Center is a program during the regular school year for 16 to 20 year olds uh, to get focused training in career and uh, skills that can lead to a career so that after high school you can either step right into a job or have a job that you can work while you go to college or some students choose to get a little more training or a couple years of college to complete their career preparedness to go into a, a, a high skilled job. I'll use the example of Boeing, okay? So um, most people know about Boeing. They're right here in Seattle. They make airplanes. They make a lot of other things. We have a course. Uh, that's the course that Miguel's in. is aerospace science class right here at Rainier Beach High School. And uh, in that class, students learn at the, in the way that an organization like Boeing wants them to learn so that they are ready to come into a job. Last year, Almost all, if not all, of our students were offered jobs at Boeing the day after they graduated from high school. Now, Boeing also, once you work there for about a year, they'll start helping you pay for college. So it's not an either or. It's not a, a career or uh, college choice that you have to make there. A lot of skills that we teach in the Skill Center provide you with more options and opportunities. So you can choose, I'm, I'm going to go right to college right after high school and have some skills that, that can help pay for college or I'm going to get a job right after high school and think about doing college later. So I just want to make sure everyone understands that we have a lot of opportunities and, and options in, in Skill Center. We have several programs right here at Rainier Beach High School. Uh, culinary, aerospace, sciences, uh, construction and building trades, um, firefighting and uh, emergency medical technician course. Uh, what am I forgetting? Oh, and we um, are going to try to bring back our computer class as well. So we have a, at least five courses here at Rainier Beach. We've got uh, about um, a, a dozen other courses throughout the district at other sites. We have transportation to and from those courses. So uh, don't worry about, you don't have to find your way on a bus or, or worry about your child trying to get on a, a metro bus across town. We're gonna have a school bus or a cab, pick them up, take them to the course, bring them right back here to their home school. Um, since there's a lot of freshmen and freshman families in here, I want to make sure you hear as well that although during a regular school year it's only 16 to 20 year olds, during summer we have a great opportunity too. Um, also free, by the way, all skill center courses are totally free. Sometimes there's a small lab fee, but it's a Seattle Public School program. Uh, in the summer we can serve incoming ninth graders to 12th graders. And that's a great way to either get ahead in your credits, because you can get at least a .5 career and technical education credit, or even two credits, or if you're falling behind in credits, a way to, it's a way to get caught back up again, okay? It's also a way for your younger students, before it's time for them to go into Skill Center, to find out if they're interested in some of these careers, like 
uh, working in a restaurant, working at uh, a place like Boeing or other, some other aerospace place, working as a deckhand on a fishing boat. These are all great jobs that you can either choose to use for the career for the rest of your life or a way to, to pay for college and, and career beyond that. So, uh, let's see, I, I, I gotta check my notes, make sure I got everything here. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I forgot to ask though, any other uh, Skill Center students in the room? Raise your hand if there are any others. We got our, our folks back at the table, okay. All right, and I'm just, I'm really glad to have been invited here tonight. We've got a great program and a great opportunity for, for your students and for families, and I hope you take advantage of the Skill Center. Thank you. Hello, hello, how's everybody doing? Am I loud? Yeah, you got me, all right. Uh, my name is Jimmy Brown and I'm with the City of Seattle Upward Bound. I say the City of Seattle because we are not UW Upward Bound and we are not South Seattle Upward Bound. The distinction between our program and theirs is that we have the ability to expose you to colleges all around the country. They just do it for UW or South Seattle with the bridge program into like a UW or something like that. So that's one of the differences. Uh, basically, it's a college and career readiness program from grades 9 through 12. Um, and we just try to get uh, first generation students, minority, low income, um, and we try to get their mindset focused on college, right? So, for instance, I was a first generation graduate in my family. Um, coming up, I never thought about college, didn't think that I could even get into a college, and I had that mindset in middle school, right? And that was because I wasn't being fed, it wasn't a part of my household. So knowing that there's a lot of students out here who come from those same circumstances, uh, my job is to show you that you can start to think about college coming from eighth grade, going into ninth grade, and as soon as you step on a high school campus, that's when the work begins for you to try to get into the college that you want to get into. So we do that through FAFSA. You know, when I looked at the FAFSA coming up, I thought it looked like a foreign language to me. I didn't know what sections to fill out. I didn't know what information to bring with me. And so I had to have a family member outside of my immediate family try to show me that. Um, so with a program like mine, I would be the one to walk your student through the FAFSA. I would be the one to make sure your student hits all the criteria and requirements to get into college, to make sure that they take the SATs, to make sure to prepare for the SATs and everything like that. And then I would just show them their options for what colleges are out there um, and how they can get money for the colleges. So I'm here Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm at Chief Self Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I'm located in room 265. And so if you have a child who's serious about getting into college, um, and you know they need that guidance. I'm your man. Thank you. Hi guys. Um, so my name is Kosar Mohammed, and I'm also one of the college access providers here. I work for the College Success Foundation, and just like Jimmy's program, um, I will be also helping students with college access, getting resources for colleges, um, thinking about higher education. So my program is the Hero Program, and it's. Um, my, my program is a hero program, and that's uh, an, being an advisor for the ninth and 10th grade students. Um, while the students right now are not ready for financial aid and applying for colleges, I will be working on with them um, on non-cognitive skills, what does a clean backpack look like, what are study habits, um, how does social media impact you, and things of that nature. Um, in terms of college access, I will be taking them on field trips to the colleges and universities. I will also be inviting colleges here to speak with them. We will have a lot of um, companies come and talk to the students just because it's their own pathway and it's their choice of being whatever they want to be. So if there are companies that they really want to know more about, um, job, jobs that they have interest in, that we can bring those people in to come and talk to your students. Um, just like Jimmy's program, however, my uh, capacity is limited. I have slots for about 35 ninth graders and 35 tenth graders. Um, I also joined the program when I was in high school. It really helped me. I'm a first generation student. Um, I did not think I was gonna go to college. I, didn't, I really at least did not think too much of it until I had this program. Uh, there was a lot of hand holding. Um, there was a lot of field trips that I had to go on just to see what universities had to offer me. Um, I always thought about like university, I can't go there, are they gonna accept me? But then the program kind of changed it around for me. Like, don't think about that. Think about what is good for you. What do you want out of college? And um, I think that kind of changed the whole ball game for me. During my junior year, they helped me apply for a lot of scholarships. I ended up getting awarded a $50,000 scholarship to go to the college of my choice. And even when I went to college, um, they had college navigators there. 
that assisted me. So I ended up studying abroad, which they brought the ideas to me. They helped me get funding again. And once you graduate, you become a College Success Foundation alumni. So we have a whole pipeline. We saw the students from eighth grade all the way to college and beyond. Um, but yeah, please make sure your students apply for one of our programs. And I am having a um, application session tomorrow for any of your students who are interested. It's gonna be at the library, here at the library, and it's also gonna be dinner provided to them. It takes about 15 minutes to complete the application. Okay? Thank you guys.